Hello everyone. Um, three weeks since I saw you last. And what have I been doing for three weeks? Troubleshooting this thing. Well, I got my gate driver ready. My flyback transformer done. 1 is to 10 turns ratio. And transistor MOSFET mounted on a heatsink. A neon bulb as a load. And a snubber, etc. etc. And what do I get for all my hard work? This I have absolutely no idea what to make of this. Let's look at everything one by one. This is my gateway form which is highly non-ideal. Rising edge and falling edges are terrible. And this is my current waveform which doesn't look like a current waveform for an inductor. It's supposed to be a single linear slope but it, it, but it isn't. I have absolutely no idea why. Maybe it's because of the resistance of these cables. Uh, look at that. Yes. Maybe it's because of my cable resistance. I've measured these and these are about half an ohm each. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Stray capacitance, inductance, all that stuff. Maybe that's what's ruining things for me. And here's the drain to source waveform with a high voltage peak it's 40 volts even though i have a snubber a normal diode and a zener diode 6 volt zener which is obviously not working now let's look at everything together this is how it looks like i have no idea what to do but another piece of news fortunately happens to be good I finally got around to making my rails. These are my rails. This is the surface in contact with the projectile. And I've connected wires to them. Very thick wires. I've measured the resistance of these rails. They are close to 0 ohms. As far as I could measure. But the cable thing comes up to almost 10 milli ohms. Which is bad. I can't find cable thicker than this. And how did I measure all this stuff? Because I built myself this uh, simple milliohm meter you can look that up on google and make one yourself 100 milliamps constant current output so you can measure the voltage drop across stuff so every millivolt you measure is 10 milliohms so i got 0 0.9 millivolts for this wire so that's around 9 milliohms so that's all i have to say for today progress has been terrible maybe i'll just get around to building this on a proper perf board without any of this breadboard nonsense maybe the frequency is so high that all the capacitance and stuff is interfering with my circuit that's it for today